being on the road with the one o'clock is really a lot of fun. I mean, it's all about the music, as Phil can attest. It is about the music, and it's also about the end result of being on the road. Back in the 40s and 50s, it was being on the road that brought big bands to the forefront of American culture. And it was with that idea in mind that Leon Breeden started the tradition in the 60s of taking the one o'clock on the road. It's the live concert performances of this band that reach audiences around the world, enhancing the reputation of the University of North Texas jazz program. In the 80s, it was Neil Slater that expanded that goal by organizing international tours for the one o'clock, as well as producing live recordings of the band at venues around the world. And it's through the live recordings that I've engineered that those performances of the one o'clock have been preserved. I think it's important to capture the one o'clock in live concert settings so that people can appreciate just how consistently outstanding this band performs, not just in the studio setting, but also in concert. Being on the road and the recordings are two of the key factors that have helped the One O'Clock achieve international notoriety as the premier ensemble of its kind. And that in turn has brought numerous young talented musicians from around the world to the University of North Texas jazz program.